Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously we learned how to generate and fund a Cardano wallet with the command line interface. In this section we're going to learn how to run a Cardano node via the command line interface. This means we can clone the blockchain and have it synced up with the real Cardano blockchain so we can perform transactions to the blockchain via our node directly in the command line. First, we need to download the current Cardano blockchain network configuration files for the testnet. For that, we're going to use the following commands, which you can paste in all at once. And remember, you can find all the commands in the source files for this section. Here, we're using the curl command to download from hydra.iohk.io testnet topology.json. This will download a JSON file to your computer. Next, we're downloading from the same location, testnet shelly genesis.json, as well as testnet config.json, testnet byron genesis.json, and testnet alonzo genesis.json. These are genesis blocks for the blockchain, as well as topology or structure for the test networks, test network, and the configuration for the test network. So these are the configuration files that we need if we want to clone the Cardano testnet. So enter in those files and hit enter. This is going to download those files for you to your computer. So you can just copy and paste them and hit enter. You should see the following result. You have your total percentage, percentage received, exferred, average download speed, average upload speed, the time total, time spent, time left, and current speed. Make sure that when you do run these commands that you're inside of your home directory in the terminal and you're not inside of any project folder because these commands will download the files into whatever folder you're currently at in the terminal. So you want to be in the home directory instead of inside of a project folder. Once you're done, you will now have the configuration files on your computer. Then you can run the Cardano node. So for this, we're going to use the following command, but you will have to modify it for your computer slightly. So this is the command. We're using the Cardano node and the run command, which means we're going to run a Cardano node. We use a backslash to specify a new line. So we're going to enter a new line and then pass in the topology flag. This should be the location of your topology file, the testnet-topology.json file. If you're not sure where it is, then search for it on your computer and then copy the path to that file. So it should be your path on your computer, meaning your username and your location. This should be the same location, just with a different username, but you should check. You might have your file downloaded to a different location. Next, we pass in a backslash because we have a new line. Don't forget the backslashes, otherwise you'll see a message that says that this word is not recognized. So we have another backslash and then a new line. Then we're passing in the database path flag. This should be the path to the DB folder in Cardano node. If you don't have one folder, then just pass in the following location. This is your home folder slash your username. So users slash Alex, that is get that can be replaced with the squiggly line. Then we have Cardano dash node slash relay slash DB. Then we have a backward slash for a new line. We're passing in the socket path. This should be the location to your node dot socket file on your computer. This is also going to be the same location that we previously set back when we set the Cardano node socket path. So it should be your home folder slash your username if it exists, slash Cardano node, slash relay, slash node dot socket. Then we're passing in a bash slash and a new line for the host address flag. We're passing in 127.0.0.1, which means local host. If local host doesn't work, try passing in 0.0.0.0. .0. That is less private, but you can use it if local host doesn't work, but local host should work. That means this is the location on your computer or this is the location that will be hosting the blockchain. We're passing in a local host, meaning it will be hosted locally on our computer. Then we pass in another backslash and another new line. 
with the port flag. The port that we're using is 3001, a common port for the blockchain, but you can use any open port. If you have another server running or another port, another tool software using this port already running on this port, then change the port to something like 8000, 8008. You have to use a port that's not being used. Likely 3001 is not used, but sometimes you're using a port, you don't even know it, or you forgot to close a port. So you can change this port number if 3001 is currently taken by some other app on your computer. Then we have another backslash for a new line. And on the new line, we have the config flag. Then we pass in the link to our testnet-config.json file. This has to be the location on your computer where you have the testnet-config.json file. So make sure this is the correct path or pass in your path to the file on the computer. Remember, we just downloaded this file. Now we're using it. So then you can hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have my node running. So I can open it in another terminal. So this is what you should get as a result. Do not close this terminal. If you close the terminal, then the node will stop running. You can stop the run at any time that you like. But if you stop the running of the node, then you won't be able to connect to the blockchain. You'll have to reopen the command, re reopen the node with the command again. So keep this terminal running whenever you want to interact with the blockchain. And you can just open a new tab if you ever want to interact with the terminal again. Just use a new tab. So you can have multiple tabs or windows of the terminal open. So this is what you should see. This is the complete Cardano ledger. So you see all these nodes and it's constantly being updated whenever a new block is added to the blockchain. Now, at first, your blockchain version, your node here in the terminal won't be completely synced with the real Cardano blockchain. It can take about 15 minutes to sync up, meaning that your latest node is the same latest node that is on the real blockchain. So wait about 15 minutes and keep this running for the node to sync up. It can take up to a day, but typically it's only 15 minutes for your node to sync up. So at this point, you are going to have the complete Cardano ledger on your computer. So you want to keep this running so that way you can interact with the Cardano blockchain via your running node. The node is like a connection point to the Cardano blockchain via your terminal. So if you are at this stage, then congratulations, you are able to run a Cardano node. Join me coming up next. We're going to continue working with Cardano blockchain and learn how to export Cardano protocol parameters. So don't miss the next lecture. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Previously, we learned how to run a Cardano node via the command line interface. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to export Cardano protocol parameters. So join me in your terminal or command line. Keep the Cardano node running and open a new terminal. Here in our terminal, we first have to make sure that we have our socket path variable set. So you should have done this previously, but just in case I'm going to remind you, you have to have the Cardano node socket path environment variable set. You can use that following command to set the environment variable. And you can check that you have the environment variable with Vim. And you can inspect your environment variables and make sure that the Cardano node socket path is there. As long as we have that variable, we can export protocol parameters for transaction calculations and save them in a file called protocol.json. So we are going to use the following command in the terminal. And remember, you can copy these commands from the source files at the end of the section. This command is using the Cardano CLI. We're doing a query for protocol parameters. We're passing in the flag of testnet magic, which means we are using the Cardano test network, followed by the ID for the test network. We're also going to create a file with the flag out file. The file will be called protocol.json. Hit enter and that will create protocol.json, which you can inspect the folder that you have with dir or ls. And you'll see protocol.json will be added to your folder, right? You may also have JSON files for your testnet configurations, depending on where you installed your 
JSON files. Now, typically, you should have these on your your home directory, not your folder path. So just be careful where you install these JSON files. All right, so this is going to save your protocol parameters in your protocol.json file. If you get a command failed error, such as this query cannot be used for the buyer on error, that means you have to wait until your Cardano node is fully synced. So your Cardano node should still be running and you have to wait till it fully syncs up. So join me coming up next, we're going to learn how we can check that our Cardano node is fully synced. Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously we learned how to run a Cardano node with the command line interface and how to export Cardano protocol parameters. In this lecture we're going to learn how we can check if our Cardano node is fully synced. Do we have the latest block on the chain. Syncing can take around 15 minutes and up to a day, but typically around 15 minutes. To check that you have the latest node, join me at the Cardano Explorer, which can be accessed at explorer.cardano-testnet.iohkdev.io. Here you can explore the Cardano blockchain. We are specifically on the testnet, but there is another version for mainnet as well. Here, you can search for epochs, blocks, addresses, and transactions. If you scroll down, you can access latest epochs. You have the epoch number, the slot, the blocks, the started at date and time, and the last block date and time. You can check this date and time and go to your terminal and check that it matches up with the latest block that you have in the blockchain in your terminal. This will likely be around the exact time that it currently is as well because blocks are constantly being added. If you don't see the latest date and time here, if you instead see an older day, then that means that your node is still syncing up. If you just ran the node with cardano-node run, that command, then it can take some time for the node to sync up. So just wait. And if you're experiencing error messages, it's likely because your node is not fully synced. So here you can see all the latest epochs on the blockchain explorer. You can browse epochs, see the latest blocks as well. And of course, you don't even have to go to the explorer. You can just go to the terminal and check what is the date and time of the latest block. Is it the current date and time? If it's older, then it means you're still syncing. If you experience any other error messages and your Cardano node is synced, then search up the error messages online. You can also go to the GitHub for Cardano, like the GitHub for Cardano CLI, Cardano node, and check out the issues over there as well if you do experience any troubles. Otherwise, that is how to run the Cardano node with your command line. So congratulations, everyone. You now have a Cardano node on your computer, which means you can interact with the Cardano blockchain. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.